We're going to make some uh, nachos, some nacho con carne, out of basically styrofoam for the meat. Um, paper mache, it's basically glue and newspaper for the chips. And some paint and some little you know, paper for like cilantro, lettuce, whatever. And then we're actually cutting from um, toilet rolls. We're cutting little jalapeno peppers. One stuck to this stupid, but you can see it. Mm -hmm. Now with this, you make blue and yellow, primary colors, and you get green, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually color some of these nachos. So I have one pre-made here, and all I'm doing as you can see, it's just coloring them. I already cut them out to like the Dorito type chips um, size. So you get a chip, right? It really doesn't matter what side you um, paint on. However, I find it easier to paint on the side that's shiny. That's the side where the glue um, is still adhered to the newspaper. So I go ahead and then I do that. And then I like to do it on cardboard first. That way I don't make a lot of paint marks on my actual plate. Lift it up tiny and then just lay it. So you'll just do this for a few of them. Um, and you know, I did a one sample right there actually, um, where you guys can see, okay, these are the chips shape. So this actually just requires a gloss now because it, it looks really dry now. But once the gloss is on there, it'll look like food again. So um, the nice thing about this is, is that the cheese is made with five different colors. So the five different colors that we use, actually four, I'm sorry. Four different colors that we use are yellow, red, white, and brown. And the reason that I use those colors, people be like, why are you putting red inside of cheese? Cheese is yellow. Well, the yellow acrylic paint actually comes out really yellow. And it's unrealistic to the color of cheese sauce. So that's why I use that. Um, but again, the chips don't have to be necessarily perfect as far as, oh, being a perfect triangle, because we all know that when we open a bag of chips, most of them aren't even a triangle because they, they crunch down really little and the bag's usually really big as well. Um, and then they put this, this very little, small, small amount of chips in it. Not ample at all. Um, but some of it can be globbed on, as you can see, because it'll, it'll, it'll look more like cheese when it's globbed on. Um, and it will dry, again, it's acrylic, so it usually takes like 12 hours to dry pretty solid. Um, you know, and it all depends on, again, how much uh, cheese you actually put on these nachos. Um, so, another example of a, a perfect size would be like this. So when you're actually cutting the triangles out, a lot of people forget to round the edges a little bit. Um, if nachos were really that sharp, a lot of people would be getting little paper cuts, but actually the edges are round. You can even see them a little bit in the so this is a good amount. I'm not going to do the whole plate because I know we're on camera. Um, but, so once you get your nachos done, you think, oh, I'm going to put a couple little things. Now, what I would do with this, instead of having them all crinkled, I would crinkle them up a little bit more um, to my liking. I don't want them to look so artificially crinkled because they're crinkled at the same time. You know, a little square box, 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 it looks like. So you can, you know, make it a little bit different, right? Because um, you don't want the crinkles all the way the same. I think that's enough for my nachos right here. And I actually, I'm going to put some, some meat on it, and then I'm going to pour a little bit more cheese on it to make it cheesier. I like my nachos cheesier. But what I'm going to do to get the meat, I'm going to more bread. Now that's steak, so I make bread of, this is more ground beef. Like barboca. Barboca. I do anything for Catalina. Right? And so then you just put it on there and make. Mmm. I'm going to put a little bit of steak. I don't have too much steak. Usually people don't you know, cook all the way, and I like more brown. So, it's a little bit more brown. Right? It's okay if the meat gets over, you know, other places too. And then I might want to put a little bit more cheese on, because I like, like I said, again, I like my, I like my nacho with some cheese. Okay? So I'm not gonna put it everywhere, but I want to make the, at least the actual chip cheesy, so people can see that, and then they can see, oh, there's a lot of cheese. A lot of people like cheese. I don't want to feel like you only can put this certain amount of cheese on it or something like that. So then I have these little jalapeno peppers which I cut from uh, toilet paper roll. Okay? So I take my scissors okay, and I just cut like a little circle out of here. And then probably halfway in here right there. Just to cut out a little out, right? Because usually they're like torn apart in the hand. 
Then I mix blue and yellow together because we all know that blue and yellow makes it. There you go. Nice nachos, right? One last thing that'll make this perfect. We need sour cream yogurt. Absolutely. The quickest and easiest way to make sour cream is just by sprinkling a little bit of oil. There we go. Once that dry, I'm going to cheese. Wow, you get that hair on my face? All right. So, you take, right. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. 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 On that clipboard. Hey, I need some paint. Folks, I can put whatever that is. You want to do this? You're doing it, right? I'm saying. So who knows how to cook here? Me? All right. Who knows? So do you guys take me? Sure. I just snapped. This A plus plus right here. It is. It is. A plus plus. So let me know if you need some other cream. There's some nice dishes over here. So we'll probably be adding some more cheese to these. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good drag. Did it fine. So mm -hmm. this shouldn't be the only thing. All right. It's really. Good. The meat is styrofoam. Oh, some more styrofoam on the table. So we need some more drip on the table. Hey, where that ground beef? Oh, that's sick. They say you got to dump it in that shit or something. Yeah, you got to dump that style so much in now. Who said they need more ground beef? Oh, you need more chips. Yeah, hey. Okay. Something shit. Oh, man. Okay.